Hi, Little Makers. I'm Miss Patty from the Homestead Cybrarium. And if you haven't seen any of the videos that we've put together for story time, uh, go ahead and just click on uh, the different ones from the past so that you can enjoy them too. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. And today we're going to continue to read the out of this world books that we have. It's a favorite of mine today, so I hope you like it also. And while I'm reading it, I want you to think about the different activities we could do with the book after. Um, I'm going to put something together where we go ahead and work together at putting together a special surprise uh, for you to be able to play with. So are we ready to launch another Out of This World book? Let's go! Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! The book that we're going to be reading today is called Penguinot. They took two words and put it as one. So it's a penguin in space because it's penguin and astronaut together. It is written by Marcy Colleen, and I think you're going to enjoy this book very much. Penguinot, written by Marcy Colleen, published by Orchard Books. And we want to thank Orchard Books for allowing us to read this together. See over here? That's Penguinot, and he has an outfit, sort of like a space outfit, and it says zoo on it. Orville was small, and it says penguin here. That's probably the exhibit where the penguins live in the zoo. And this is a little igloo. His friends were really, really big. What do you think he's going ahead and standing on? An elephant. Yeah, that is the trunk of an elephant. And their adventures were even bigger. He's flying, and he is underwater with four flippers, four fins, and Orville also longed for big adventures too, like his friends. One day he announced his plan for the biggest and best adventure yet. Ta-da, he said, this is my plan. Orville's big adventure to the moon, option number one, is to learn how to fly. Option number two, I'm gonna climb a ladder all the way to the moon. Option number three is catapulting. That's on a slingshot all the way to the moon. And number four, hmm, I still got to think about my option four. All of his friends were thinking about everything Orville said. And when you see bubbles on top of their heads, it means that it's a thought. It's a bubble thought. All the way up there, said the giraffe. Is that a good idea, said the alligator. But Orville, you're so small, said the lion. And the moon is so far away, said the baby cub. I can do this myself, and Orville flippered out. He tried to flap. Kerplop. He tried to climb. Whack. He tried to catapult. Faling. And he went right into where the snakes were and landed in the reptile house. Orville was pretty sure the boa constrictor was not trying to hug him. Still, Orville kept trying. He borrowed from the zookeeper. He, he nicked from the trash can, and he built, and he built, and he built. And with a shake, 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 of a half-filled soda bottle, the ship was ready for liftoff. Eureka! I think I got it. I know how to go to space, he said. It was perfect and perfectly penguin-sized. With a trembling flipper salute, he took his place at the controls and he said, three, two, one, I can do this myself. What do you think comes next? Dot, 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 and blast off. That's right. Whoosh, the ship zipped through the night sky, through clouds, over stars, and straight to the moon. Bump, 
kerplunk, kaboom, Orville landed. His stomach felt queasy, his spacesuit felt squeezy. Now that he'd made it, what would he do? He took a small step, he hopped, did a little dance, and he tripped. Well, over here, he did put a flag on the moon. That says what on it? Zoo. That's right, because he was from the zoo. It's like what we did when we landed on the moon. Neil Armstrong went ahead and put the American flag on when he took his first steps on the moon. So they're kind of doing the same thing, but this time it's not an astronaut, it's a penguinot. Tumble, bumble, ba, boing. He somersaulted with stars, cartwheeled over craters, and giggled for all the galaxy to hear. It was the biggest and best adventure yet. I'm doing it myself, he cheered, but his tiny voice was swallowed up in the starry blackness. Orville stopped. Hmm. He was alone. His stomach grew queasier, his spacesuit grew squeezier. He shivered and a note fell out of his pocket. It said, you're our penguinot. We know you can do this. Who was that from? All of his friends at the zoo. <sighs> so he missed his friends a lot. So Orville closed his eyes tightly and imagined they were there and they became constellations in the sky. He patterned the stars to look like their friends. When he was safely back in his ship, he looked toward home. He couldn't wait to tell everyone about his big adventure. Sure, Orville's friends were big. Now the proud penguinot felt big too. You're our hero, said the banner with all of his friends waiting for him. Our incredible penguinot, but biggest of all, it says, being together, is out of this world. So they made a rocket ship that everyone would fit into. How much fun. Says one small penguin, one big dream. And he made it to the moon. Great book, right? It's one of my favorite. Little makers, did you think about what kind of activities we can do with the book while I was reading? Well, I'm thinking about going ahead and making our, well, we're going to make our very own penguinot and rocket ship. So take a look at the video so I can show you step by step how you can do it. And I'll have everything online for you to be able to print out the directions and the materials needed on our Facebook page on the Cybrarium or on our website. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next week.